will count as a 3 0 home victory. Uh, that's exactly what the doctor orders. Yeah, yeah, brilliant reaction to, to uh, a disappointing result, choosing the Ireland performance, so a really good reaction. I thought we controlled the game. The game in the last 10 minutes gets a bit stretched, which I don't really like. However, we're 3 0, I understand why it's got that way. Uh, really pleased. Uh, we made obviously we brought brought Bisk in. I've got to, I've got to say I, I thought Bisk was excellent. Uh, I really did. He's been he's been frustrated and rightly so because uh, he's not found himself in the team and and to come in and do that I thought it was a brilliant reaction. We we just wanted to fill the the middle of the pitch with energy. That's why we, we thought Bisk higher up the pitch and uh, with his energy and and obviously they played Wednesday night and got a, got a brilliant result. But we just felt as if. Try and be as energetic as we could. Uh, we knew the supporters would react to that, and, and I think we started really well. And, and uh, I thought it was comfortable enough in the end. I just said to them there, and it's probably my. Listen, nothing's perfect. You can't ever be perfect in life, but I think the final third of the game we probably missed too many chances with, with decent opportunities to to make better of it. But that's just me, and I'll continue to be like that. The day that I stop doing that's probably the day to give up. Yeah, three goals maybe not quite enough then. No, I just think we had more chances. I, I, I do, and, and I don't want to be disrespectful to Farsley, or, or I'm not playing down anything for the players. It's a brilliant reaction. It's a brilliant home win. Exactly like you said at the top of the interview, it's what the doctor ordered. But uh, clean sheet, clean sheet's brilliant. Uh, clean sheets are, are vitally important, and, and obviously scoring goals is great as well. I just felt as if, which the players agreed, we felt as if we could probably get a couple more, but we, uh, we can't be too selfish, too greedy, and we move on. Akeem Rose sort of led the line, got a goal and set up that third one brilliantly. Yeah, he did. Akeem's, Akeem's a handful. Akeem will probably, I know he's just spoke to you there, he'll probably tell you he should have more goals to his, to his tally. Uh, he can play off the right. He played uh, Weymouth, Weymouth, I'm sorry, it's my Scottish, uh, off the right uh, and, and scored 13, 14, 15. In fact, probably, I think, more than 20 goals there. So he can do that position. He can also lead the line. We knew that uh, we, knew that we could get behind him. But uh, we wanted to be really busy and lively, and, and he's exactly that. And, and I'm really pleased he got his goal, uh, he got his assist as well, he breaks down the side. And once he gets the, the other end of the defenders, he's really, really difficult to catch. And yeah, really, really pleased with, with him as, as, as I was with, with everyone, even the lads that come on the pitch. Sammy Robinson obviously came off with a knock, and then Matt Preston later on. But what's the news on both of those? Sammy, the early indication is we think he's pulled his quad, which is disappointing. Could probably be six weeks. Uh, you can look at that and say two of them are three weeks anyway because he's suspended, but we're obviously disappointed with that. Prezi just used his experience, feels a little bit of discomfort in his groin. Whether that's something more, we'll, we'll probably know better on Tuesday when we assess him. But... Uh, I think I'm hoping that he's just uh, he's just clear it in time. He could have played on, but we're three 0 up at the time. We want to be careful. And then you bring on Che Tilt late on and Cosmos Matlasa, both of whom haven't had that much game time. So I guess it was important to get them on the field. Yeah, it was, and it, it, it's not, the hardest part of being a manager is trying to keep everyone happy and keep everyone on the pitch because the, the, everyone trains to the maximum effort, uh, and you would just wish you could reward everyone, but. We've uh, we've had a really good start. We've we've scored a lot of goals. We've uh, created good chances. It's, it'd be different if we weren't creating chances. I would have to move things about, but we're creating chances. So uh, both both are attitude. Everyone that come on the pitch, Ty Deacon as well. Their attitude was spot on. Uh, Cos come on was excellent for for the, the twenty minutes or whatever he was on. And Che comes on and gives us just that little bit of legs, and he also creates a chance where he gives it to Tate. And I think Tate reverses it back to him and he gets a shot. So. Uh, everyone's going to be important again. Wallow comes off the bench and scores. We we uh, we're going to need everyone to be successful this year. We're going to need more bodies. We're, we're we're starting to get a little bit short, so we're going to have to try and get more bodies. Uh, we've spoke to to Derby and uh, we're trying to to get something sorted with Ryan as well because I think he's been excellent. He's now played right of the three. He's played right centre back and he's played right wing back and he's been equally as excellent in all three. He's mature. He's He's powerful and uh, he's a brilliant, brilliant kid. The players love him. He's, he takes information on board, so he's one that we'll definitely we're trying to we're trying to extend. So Ryan Bartley, hopefully for longer. What's the situation with Ty Deacon? Because I know he's been here for three or four weeks now, so we must be up to about the deadline. Yeah, I think Ty's got a couple more weeks. Uh, Ty's been unfortunate. Ty had a had a cold or a flu, whatever you want to call it, a couple of, uh, about ten days ago. And as mad as I sounds. He, he was constantly coughing and he started picking up back pain and the back pains, when you've got back pain it can lead to hamstrings, he's had a few hamstring injuries so it's been a bit stop-start for him but uh, he's 
proper old school. He just gets on with it. He comes in, he trains. He's like, nah, I'm fine. I just want to get on with it. He's just got that non-league old school mentality. So uh, something that we really love. But that's some something we'll look at in a couple of weeks and we'll sit down and, and make a decision on that. But I think he's got another 10 days, two weeks to go. That's amazing, isn't it? You get a cough or a cold and actually it ends up with, with deeper injuries. It's mad if you, th- <laughs> if you think, I'm sure we've all had it, when you're just coughing constantly, you start straining your back and it just leads to the next thing. Listen, I might be talking absolute rubbish, it's, but uh, that's what's happened. He's had the cold, he's, he's then suffered with back pain and, and it's led to hamstring pain. So, uh, yeah, well, hopefully he's over that and uh, we look forward to Chester. Well, neither you or I are doctors, so that probably seals that one. Yeah. Just finally, Chester, obviously, next week. So you've got sort of training Tuesday, Thursday, which is a rarity in itself. So where's the focus over the next seven days? Yeah, well, for myself, I'll be I'll be staying down here now till, till Tuesday. We've got the, the, the game on Monday. Uh, that I'll probably go to. Uh, Tuesday we'll come in and train, we'll, we'll assess everyone. It's difficult when you've got shortened bodies because you have to be careful what you actually do because the players that are available then become vitally important. Uh, so we'll, uh, we've obviously had a, a long travel the last three, four weeks where we've been up at Cousin and uh, Warrington on Tuesday night. So we'll, uh, we'll regroup Tuesday, we'll, we'll train as we always do. We'll. We'll, uh, we'll train in intensity like we always do, but we'll we'll tailor it whether we shorten the length of the session and keep the intensity at the same level, or we lessen the intensity and make the session longer, which is something we'll, we'll decide on. But we'll come back in Tuesday, come back in Thursday, and like I said to the lads, we've we beat Cousin and that mentality is to move on to Warrington. You lose at Warrington, the mentality is to move on to Farsley now, we move on to Chester, and it's all, uh, it's all focus on that. And just finally, uh, the fans in here today made loads of noise. It was good to have a home victory, but also have a home game as much as anything. Yeah, it was good to be back home. We we, we obviously love playing here, and I know results have been a bit indifferent. So to come and, and, and send them home happy, they were they were noisy from the off. Uh, we'll need them. We'll need them for the next six, seven months, whatever it is left in the season. They'll continuously, they'll be there. They'll, uh, and it's, that's not a just me expecting them to be there, I just know they will be because they're a brilliant support, they'll stick behind us and uh, I told the players, you start well, I said, you, you can tap into the lads that were here last year, you start well when you get on the front foot and you get a throw in, you get a corner, you get a shot off, they will stick with you and they'll stick with you the full game and they do. So uh, we're just really pleased, I, I touched on it a couple of weeks ago, I think up at Cousin, we, we want to send them home happy, of course we do with results, but first and foremost, they, as long as they can see a team on the pitch that's going to gonna fight to the very end, then, then that makes us most pleased. They've certainly seen that this afternoon. Paul, thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. What sort of team have you got for the County Cup? Is you going to be kids again? All like kids, yeah. Year? Yeah, we all kids. We'll speak to Matt Horton, might play the goalie. Uh, we'll speak to Des. He might play, but then Prezi's went down, so probably not. That's just off the top of my head there. Uh, so probably not. But we'll go with kids. I think it's a brilliant experience for them, I really do. Uh, it's a, a cup that they obviously got to the final last year. We expect them to go and win. And, so it's just good for them to go and play against men and, and uh, it, it's good for me because I get, a, get an idea of what they like playing against men. I know the opposition on Monday is not a, of a brilliant standard but the, the further and in, deeper into the competition they go then it's good for me to get an eye for them up against men, up against step three, step four, step five teams. Thank you. All right.